it's not even about wins and losses anymore. It has nothing to do with wins and losses with the Lakers anymore. LeBron James is the biggest bum in NBA history. And the reason I say that is because people consider him the GOAT. I once said he was the GOAT until I came to my senses. This guy had a chance, and and not just this game. These guys just lost to the Houston Rockets. At the end of the regulation, with the game tied, this man had an opportunity to drive the ball in for a layup, miss it, make it, get fouled overtime. Instead, he does what he's done his entire career and that's be passive and pass the ball out for Carmelo Anthony miss. It doesn't get any more cowardly than that. The fact that this was a game, you just lost 139 to 130 to the Houston Rockets and you decided to be passive and they went into overtime and just got destroyed. Houston made the first 13 points, outscored them 19 to 10 because of old age. And Houston blows them out if they're not this young and make dumb decisions like they were making in the game. I've never seen a team in the Lakers look so defeated in my life, which they aren't defeated. And I was watching the game and I was asking myself, And I came to a conclusion without any shot. I mean, especially after the uh, result of this game, there is not a team, a lottery team. We know they can't beat the elite teams and they win a game like that. There is not a lottery team such as Houston, OKC, Detroit, Orlando. There is not a team in the league that the Lakers could just wipe out in a seven-game series. Any of those four lottery teams I just named would take the Lakers to the distance in a seven-game series. And I know that doesn't matter because these are losing teams, but we say this because the Lakers were supposed to be a championship team. Just when you think you've seen it all, LeBron James against the young Houston Rockets, and they were getting destroyed in the paint, he and Melo, by uh, – Number 28 from Houston. That dude was getting anything he wanted. Young rookie, he was getting anything he wanted in the paint against the Lakers. Same gun or something like that. But the Lakers just lost the game 139 to 130. And the only thing that needs to happen now is for the Pelicans and the Blazers or the Spurs to stop playing around get on a streak a and string together some wins to knock the Lakers out of the play-in. Can you believe that the Lakers aren't even play-in worthy? I don't care how many haters the Lakers had coming into, into this season. No one thought they would be this bad. There were people who said they would be old and look old, and they were right. But no one had the Lakers missing the playoffs. I don't care who you are. You are a lie if you said, I knew this team wouldn't even make the playoffs or the play-in. Pop this Wii Report t-shirt. I got black and white as well. Hit me up. This team... What did we... What? What? This team is the most embarrassing team in Laker history. Especially since I've been around to watch basketball. This is the most disgusting, devastating, dumbest. This team is terrible. And you can scapegoat Frank Vogel all you want, but the play on the court is just terrible. Russell Westbrook, I've never seen a guy miss so many layups. I've never seen that ever. Not even in Little League, not anywhere. I've never seen superstars as terrible as LeBron James and Russell Westbrook. Never. And when it went into overtime, I mean, I don't know what he was mouthing off after he passed the ball to Melo when they went into overtime, Melo missed a shot. But they just looked defeated. He just looked like, I'm not interested. And, and And I honestly pray that LeBron James wants to leave L.A. 
I know he, I don't, and from what the talks have been, he doesn't have a no trade clause, which means he has to play one more year unless they traded him. And I know that he doesn't want to deal with the embarrassment of being considered the GOAT and being traded because Kobe was never traded. You know, draft night don't count. Jordan was never traded. None of these guys, Magic was never traded. So, and Larry. So he doesn't want to have to deal with the embarrassment of being traded because the internet, you know, as if it's not bad enough for him. The internet, oh my goodness, they would have a field day with that. But I, I just hope and pray he doesn't want to be there and I hope they can find a trade partner. Listen, I don't like LeBron James, the player. I don't like LeBron James. And this is a thing that has recently come up because I see the way he moved off the court as well. I see that the things that people try to say, talking for him, stuff that he can't come out and say, but he'll have other people do it for him. And I say that to say this, I don't appreciate LeBron James. If LeBron James left the game today, I promise you I would not care. There are a lot of people on YouTube whose highlights we look at and we just gloss over. I can assure you I've never ever looked at a LeBron James highlight on YouTube. I, his game does not impress me at all. He does nothing special that I've never seen anyone else do. Nothing at all. I do not care about LeBron James. I do not care if he wants to leave the Lakers. I do not appreciate LeBron James. If he left the game today, I will not say, man, I miss LeBron James. That's how bad it is. I don't care if the Lakers go another 10, 15, 20 seasons as the worst team in basketball. I want this guy off the team. That's just how I feel. It is just embarrassing to consider, to call yourself the goat. And he tried to label himself as that. And you can look at the body language. The man is embarrassed because he know he's the blame as well. He picked this team. He picked this team. We could have had DeRozan. We could have had Lowry, but he wanted the flashy name, Russell Westbrook. He wanted that. And he got what he asked for. He got exactly what he asked for. And now look at him. 28 and 37. Losing to the Rockets. Are not definitively better than any of the other 29 teams in the association. There's not a team in the league that you can look at and say the Lakers would beat them in a seven-game series and sweep them in a seven-game series. Any team in the association will take them to seven games. Not that they'll necessarily win that seven game, and not that it matters, but that's just how bad they are. And we can keep going Frank Vogel this, Frank Vogel that, Frankie V, Frank Vogel, all that, but the fact of the matter is Frank Vogel ain't responsible for the garbage that's on that court the way that they're playing. Russell Westbrook, missed layups, earlier on, Weeks or months ago, it was about the turnovers. LeBron James, quitter, ain't really as good as he, you know, tried to portray himself to be. And I know you guys talk about, oh, he in year 19, blah, blah, blah. He can't do it all. But he puts that responsibility on himself. So he is going to carry this load. It's like the quarterback in football. The quarterback win, the, the team win, the quarterback gets the most credit. So if the team lose, it's only fair that we give the quarterback the most blame. And that's LeBron James. You want to be the guy, you want to be the man where well, you're going to harvest all of this criticism that everyone throws at you. Because this is just, it, it, I mean, it's beyond embarrassing at this point. It, it's just, good Lord, man.